How's it hanging? I'm Lindsay Geektron and this is Lindsay Online, a show where I handpick the best stories in gaming and wrap them up in this nice and shiny little show just for you. Brought to you by Yoush. Let's get going. Could Grand Theft Auto be coming to the PlayStation 4? Recently, Rockstar Games and Sony both jumped all over an official UK Sony Twitter account insinuating that GTA 5 was coming to the brand new PlayStation console. The gaming companies denied up and down that GTA 5 was coming out for any new console and insisted that the game was for the PS3 and the Xbox 360 only. Still, considering the amount of people that are planning on purchasing the new consoles, it seems that it would be sheer folly not to offer the game to those who go on to purchase the new systems. Plus, no PC version? Really? It couldn't be that Rockstar is holding off on the ported version of the game until after the Christmas season so you'd have to buy it twice. Nah. Nevertheless, any purchase of GTA 5 will come with GTA Online, which lets you customize your character and wander around Los Santos with up to 15 other people. Players will be able to play additional missions, buy apartments, and even create their own glorious content in the GTA 5 engine. Plus, if you're lucky enough to buy the collector's edition of the game, you can play online as a direct descendant of Nico Bellic or some other characters from the GTA saga. You might just have to wait a little bit longer as all of this online glory will only be available on October 1st. GTA 5 will be out on September 17th and can legally be purchased for $60. Well, the failboat for Microsoft just keeps on sailing. It seems that through a leaked email, the release date of the one is tentatively set for November 8th. Leapfrogging the PlayStation 4 by a week? Hold it, people. We got a badass here. Not sure if genius marketing strategy or some really baked marketing guy. Last week, we reported that the One's release was pushed back to 2014 in Europe, evidently due to an issue with the voice control languages in different regions. Since the One is so heavily reliant on voice control, its delay seems due to the fact that Europe has literally a billion languages. That's not what literally means! Old people. Speaking of Europe, Gamescom and GDC Europe 2013 were the biggest shows yet, both with record-breaking attendances bringing in people from more than 88 countries. Destiny took the Best of Gamescom Award, Best PlayStation Game, Best Action Game, and Best Online Multiplayer. Titanfall was awarded Best Next Gen Console Game and Best Xbox Game, while Mario Kart 8 won Best Overall Nintendo Game. Because, as everyone knows, the eighth time the charm. Eighth. Times the charm. Eighth times the charm. The eighth time. Why? Because, as everyone knows, the eighth time the charm. The eighth. Eighth time. Because, as everyone knows, the eighth times the charm. Minecon has returned to the States for its third year to be hosted during the first weekend in November in Orlando, Florida. But if you're looking to buy tickets, well, it's just too late. In fact, it was too late mere seconds after the first tickets went on sale. Mojang limited the attendees to only 7,500 and warns against using scalpers to find tickets as you may not be assured of getting the genuine article. Well, fear not, intrepid Minecrafters. The event will be almost entirely live streamed from the main panels to the show floor. And after the event, all the content will be available on YouTube. Still, if you're feeling lost because you can't get a ticket, you can thank Mojang yet again. The next update promises sunflower seeds that will sprout some flowers that always point east. You're welcome. And finally, if you build it, they will come. At least, that's what Ubisoft is betting on when it comes to esports. In an impressive move to deliver the joy of esports to even more masses, Ubisoft has unveiled the next level, a way for gamers of all skill levels to approach competitive gaming. It'll be hosted at PAX Prime and attendees will be able to compete against other players in games such as Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Just Dance 2014, and the mighty quest for epic loot. And while these games are currently only Ubisoft titles, the end goal is to pave the way for the impending swell of the popularity of esports. Demacia! Tastes like Minecon. And that's all the time I have for you guys this week. I gotta head to PAX Prime and bask in the glory of my peoples. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Geektron Codex, and follow me on twitch.tv slash lindsaygeektron for more great content. Thanks so much for watching. Game on. Good morning. Oh my God,